is uh, a name that was given to us by several other people. And the one that was still referred to us in that way are the Apache people. It's not a derogatory term. It's to uh, recognize us as a people that claim the origin of coming from up, from up above, or from a higher place. <laughs> In the uh, traditional teachings of our Dine, sometimes there are words in that that uh, are out there, and a lot of people don't know the origin of those words and exactly what it is that they mean. The uh, first example, of course, is the name that we refer to ourselves, Dine. It's uh, a compound word, Dine, in our language. De means up. Ne means down, to the surface of Mother Earth specifically. And so the word the ne is the name that we refer to ourselves. Now other names have been given to our people down through the years, and the one that most people are familiar with, are, of course, are the, uh, is the name Navajo. But even that has uh, its origin. And that came from the people that we refer to today as Anasaza, and they are the ones that gave us that name. And uh, it's been, of course, repeated many different ways, but uh, originally it was uh, pronounced Anabejo is how they would say it, anabejo. But when the Spaniards heard that word, of course, they gave it the Spanish pronunciation and uh, the spelling and that, and it came out Navajo. So it's not a Spanish word, that for, for one thing. And then there's another name that is given to our people, and that is Yutahai. Yutahai is uh, a name that was given to us by several other people in that. And, but the one that was still referred to us in that way are the Apache people. And so it is that the most Apache understand the term that they apply to our people, Yutai. But uh, in that uh, name that they use to refer to ourselves, it's not a derogatory term. It's to recognize us as a people that uh, claim the origin of coming from up, from up above, or from a higher place. And so they refer to us as Yutai, which means those that are up. And so the uh, name Yutai has been used by uh, many different tribes. And I think that uh, in maybe the 1800s, and that when uh, pioneers first came out into this part of the uh, continent, that they encountered the Diné and other tribes. And the uh, one further north of us into uh, what is now present day uh, Utah, where another group of people we call uh, Eosani, which would be the Ute people. So there was two groups. One was called Eos and Batsi Spijiki, which was the ones that uh, occupied land area more to the east. And then the Deos and that was the, the ones that occupied lands to the, uh, the west. And they were the same people. They spoke the same, same language, but uh, somehow they got referred to as uh, Ute. And so it was that the, the name has its origin from the people that we were acquainted with that referred to us as Yutahai. So the Yutahai became a word that was associated with Ute. And so when the um, early settlers of Utah, or the Mormon pioneers and that, wanted to give a name to the, uh, the place that they had come to, they referred to it as Utah. And Utah is actually to try and say Utah. And so it is that that is the name that most people uh, recognize. But uh, the word Utah, and I always think, you know, back in the time when D-Day, when the uh, Allies in, uh, invaded uh, Europe, on D-Day, one of the beaches and that, that they had to uh, uh, land on was named Utah. And it was that uh, some of our relatives and friends and that and then from the Navajo Nation and that participated in that campaign. I have uh, I had a couple of uncles that uh, participated in the uh, D-Day event during World War II and um, they had their own stories in their lifetime but Utah, Utah and those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.